Welcome to Flat Out Elected. My name is Rand Campbell. Ay, 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 ay. You know, the Lord is so good. God is so, so good. You never, ever know where he's going to take you. When you drop your nets here in this world, when you stop trying to collect the things of this world, and you truly have a desire to follow God, to follow the Lord, wherever it is that he is leading you, it is unimaginable sometimes as to where he needs to take you. Sometimes it's, it's for you. Sometimes it's to process you and to prepare you. And to just kind of align you and humble you and bring you to a closer relationship with him. And sometimes it's to bring you somewhere where he needs you to speak his truth to those of the world that may not be aware of it. You know, most of the time in this life that I have spent in Christ, I have spent seeking his will and I have been seeking whatever my purpose is written in my spirit through God. This is my greatest desire is that I would glorify God and that I would, would follow Christ wherever it is that he should lead me. Now, a lot of people here, you know, I get comments from time to time that, you know, people seem to think that Rand Campbell is rich and I, <laughs> I have condos and mansions. And there was a time that I did, absolutely. There was a time that I was okay. I mean, I had uh, a good worldly life, for the lack of a better word, a deceptively good worldly life. You know, I, I've had money. But today, I don't even own a watch. I, I have given two watches away here in the Dominican where two young men looked at my watches and were like, wow, really nice watch. And I just took it off and gave it to them. Now, now because I have relatively big wrists, <laughs> they had to go and, and get them measured to their size. But I see them from time to time with those watches on and they're smiling from ear to ear. And they were amazed that, that I gave them these watches. I, I, I've had cars. I've had houses. You know, I, I, I don't care for the things of this world anymore. I, I really and honestly and truly in my heart have found out that the things of this world, the possessions, the things that you think you own, truly end up owning you. You become handcuffed to the things of this world. You become handcuffed to your possessions, to your houses, to your cars, to your money, to your idealisms, to your intellect, to your knowledge, to your schooling, to your relationships, and, and, and even to your religions. You become handcuffed to them. And that is such a horrible, horrible thing. This is why Jesus Christ said that he did not come to bring peace, he came with a sword. Jesus Christ also said that in order to follow him, you're going to hold that plow. Don't look back. Let go of this world. He told the disciples, and watch what, what Jesus did. He didn't hold you know, a seminar or he didn't you know, hold a job fair where he called on people to come and put their applications in and show their resumes in order to follow him. No, no, no. He, he, he walked about and he knew exactly who he was going to pick. He said, you two over there, come with me. You, come with me. You over there, come with me. You two, drop your, your nets and follow me. I'll make you fishers of men. There's no application that you fill out to follow the Lord. There's no application that you fill out to follow God. This is the surrendering of your free will. This is the surrendering of the things of this world and that you would trust fully in Christ and follow him wherever it is that he should lead you. You know, I, I've, I've traveled quite a bit in my life and most certainly a lot recently here in the Dominican. And something came to me, something came to mind. You know, you see people at the airport, they're carrying their luggage and they're going to and fro with their luggage. They finally get to their hotel, their destination and you know, most times they want to seek out their, their sandals and their beachwear, their hat and their sunglasses. 
And so, and then from there, they're on the beach, and you see them, you know, seeking peace and seeking tranquility, or as they say here in the Dominican, to be tranquilo. And I noticed that they're never carrying their luggage. They they don't have their luggage with them on the beach. And there's a, there's a real simple reason for this, and the reason is is that once you get to where you're getting. You don't carry your luggage anymore. And why this is a very important message today is because so many Christians and so many people outside of Christ have been carrying luggage their whole lives. I'm not talking about suitcases filled with clothing. I'm talking about souls filled with the past. I'm talking about souls filled with the aches and the pains and the trials and the tribulations of life. You know, everybody is seeking. I, I, I'm right now here in the jungle. That was what the, the video was before this started. The Lord has brought me here to this very humbling, humbling place here in the jungle. And, and it's a, a double-edged sword here for me. It's a double-edged sword in the sense that I, I need a little bit of humbling. I need a little bit of realignment with the Lord. And I need a deeper desire to seek him fully. We all do. We, we all need, even Jesus went into the wilderness to speak to the Father. And that's why I'm here. I'm here to speak to the Father and to be guided in wherever this path is leading me. I don't own a home here or own a condo. When you see me in different locations, these are just places the Lord puts me. And, and, and they're temporal. They're not, they're not long term. I don't know how, how long I'll be here in the jungle, but I know that I have purpose here. I know that I have a, a, a personal need here in that I need to be humbled and, and corrected and realigned with my father. But I also know that there are people here that need to hear about our Lord and Savior. And there are people here that need to hear the truth of the deception of this very world. And this is all God's will. This is outside of my own desires. This is outside of my own thoughts and my own free will. I know God, and I know that God calls us. And he calls us to ministry, and he calls us to let go of the things of this world. And he calls us in that we would, would surrender to him so that we could be ambassadors for him. You know, we, we are to be lights to this very dark world. And how could we possibly be lights to this world in our own flesh? When our own flesh is the handcuff to the very world of which we have departed through Christ. We, we, can't, we can't be of this world and operate in, 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 in of the ways of this world and represent Christ in his fullness. We have to truly align with God and his will. And we need to go to the wilderness. We need to, to be able to find that time where God can heal us and, and strengthen us and give us the courage to live out his will in these very serious times. I'm here. I'm here in this wonderful, beautiful, humbling place. Let me just see if I can show you a little more. I'll put my laptop one sec. You see where I am? This is my room. This is B7. That's my room. And then you look out into the jungle. And it's absolutely incredible. That's a shared little kitchen area that I have. As you can see, it is very humbling, to say the least. And you look up, there's no, it's open. My, I've got a tin roof, just a wood shack, just a little wooden room with a cement floor. I've just got here yesterday, so my luggage is kind of still everywhere. But I did let go of the luggage. I put the luggage down. And that's what this message is about. It's about... Dropping your luggage. Why are you carrying this luggage through life? 
Give it to the Lord. Give it to God. Be free of this world. Be free of the handcuffs. Be free of all of what is going on in this world. Let go of this world and surrender to the will of God and let God take care of you. Like I said, I don't have anything. Everybody, you know, has their opinion of what they think I have or don't have. I'm a very humble man. I, I don't have anything in this world that I can't walk away from in 30 seconds. The only thing I can't walk away from in this world is the will of God and my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I can walk away from literally everything else. To me, the only thing that matters at this point in life is that I serve God and I serve out His will. And that I, I, I surrender to His humbling and that He would create circumstances that would humble me and teach me to be a stronger man of God in this world you don't need much to serve God you need faith aye 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 you need faith you need some courage that comes through Christ you need the Lord first and foremost first and foremost without the Lord you cannot serve God you need to be humbled sometimes you need to be brought back down to a place where seeking God is the most important part of your day. I seek out God's will for me. I seek out what it is that he wants me to do. I never really know. I never really know what it is that he has in store for me for the rest of this life. But I do know this. I know that it's good, and I know that it pleases God, and I know that as long as I stay in the will of God, and as long as I stay in the commandments left here by Jesus Christ, if I love as he loved and treat others the way that I would like to be treated, I know that God is going to continue to bless me in this world. And I ask, are you guys are you guys counting your blessings? Are you guys seeing your blessings? Because sometimes blessings are not as visible in this world as 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 one might know. Sometimes your blessings are are hidden behind ego or they're hidden behind pain or they're hidden behind circumstance. But humility is the window to blessings. When you are humble, you see exactly what God is doing for you in your life. And what God is doing for me is he is fulfilling a desire to share him with others. In the worst of circumstances, God is fulfilling for me. He is blessing me with a platform and a mission to share the truth with the world so greatly deceived. This is this is where I am. This is where I am right now. I ask that you guys pray for me. I'm, I'm also fasting. I'm on a seven day fast. I'm just gonna be drinking water. Um, I, I'm gonna be alone a lot here. I'm gonna really, really just spend a lot of time with the Lord and I'm gonna spend a lot of time in scripture, a lot of time praying and worshiping my heavenly father. I ask that you guys pray for me and just, just just ask that God be with me and that that I would be protected and that I would be safe and that I would come out of this period, this season of my life stronger and, and a much more loving and, and, and dedicated ambassador to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I ask that you guys seriously pray for me. Ask, ask God to really open my spirit up that I would receive everything that I am to receive here and that I would share with those that come through this humbling experience everything that the Lord has taught us, everything that the Lord has brought to us to share and that the gospel would be received by those that need to hear it. I sincerely ask that you guys pray for me. If you guys enjoy the videos, if you guys enjoy the messages, sub the channel, share the videos, hit the like button, hit the bell for updates. I'm going to be doing lots of updates here. I'm going to show you guys the process that God is going to put me through. I'm going to share the process with you guys. I'm going to, to really open up to you guys over the next couple of months here in this very humbling jungle experience that I'm going through. I'm going to share this with you guys. 
um, if you guys if you guys feel it in your hearts or if you have it in your ability look in the description to help others I'll still be able to work with others here while I'm here I'll still be able to take care of the people that I take care of here in this Dominican Republic I ask that you become a patron if it's in your heart and I ask that you guys seriously seriously take care of yourselves God bless you guys is when you talking to the, to the principalities and reminding the powers and telling them who you are and what's going to happen. That's when you get an attitude. We have access to God with boldness and confidence. We can go boldly to the throne of God. We can go confidently to him. But what does the devil do? He keeps bringing up your past. He keeps bringing up your failures. He keeps bringing up your shortcomings. I'm not going to God on the basis of my righteousness. Not my righteousness. I'm going on the basis of his righteousness and who he is.